Good morning, everyone. So I have a little update about Malia Davis. She had been removed from her Texas home after physical abuse allegations, and um, now she's missing. And I'm going to read an article by CNN that gives us a little bit more detail about the situation. Four-year-old Malia Davis and her two brothers were removed from their home last year after reports of abuse, the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services told CNN. In August 2018, Malia and her brothers were placed with a relative following physical abuse allegations stemming from a head injury she had, CPS said Monday night. A judge ordered their return home in February and called for CPS to maintain temporary conservatorship and visit the home at least once a month to check on the family. Malia has been missing since Saturday. According to her stepfather, Darian Vince, he, his one-year-old son, and Malia were abducted by three Hispanic males who knocked him unconscious for nearly 24 hours. When he finally woke, Vince told detectives he was on the side of the road with his son and Malia was gone. CPS is investigating and searching for Malia with law enforcement, the agency told CNN. In a news conference Sunday, Houston Police Sergeant Mark Holbrook said Malia had multiple brain injuries, including one in recent months. The surgeries were intended to help an injury heal, he said. She needed a lot of care, the police sergeant said. This week, she was sick too. Now, police are on the hunt for the trio of suspects Vince described. The reported blue truck and the young child. Malia is three feet tall, weighs 30 to 40 pounds. She was last seen wearing a light blue Under Armour jacket, blue jeans, gray Under Armour tennis shoes with pink and white details, and had a pink bow in her hair so i will keep you all updated i just want to share that with you guys um unfortunately i think all of us are right i think he has done something to uh malia and it's just a matter of time before we get to uh, the truth there's going to have to be stricter laws in this country when they want to return kids to their families. It needs to be stricter, especially when there's allegations of abuse. This child had a bad brain injury. She's had multiple surgeries. Her family says that she wasn't the same child after she had the surgeries because of the brain injuries, but there needs to be some stricter laws before they return kids that have been allegedly abused. It just seems like they're taking the kids and then they're giving them back to their abusers, which are murdering them. Um, it's just crazy. It blows my mind. Please say a prayer for Malia and Malia's family. I will see you all this morning for some crime and coffee. I love you all. God bless. Peace.